Okay. Like you gave him twenty dollars today. All right. You got? You got? Okay. So there are little, there are a couple rules. Please keep your mask up the entire time. Your glasses on your face are great. Leave them, leave them here. Don't take them off. Okay. Okay. Uh, nothing can fall into the pool. If it falls in the pool, I can't get it back. Okay. Keep your camera on this can side. Can I just okay? take it on off? You side? can take it off and put it over here if you want. For sure. Uh, don't dangle over. Okay. Make sure it stays on this side, please. The only thing that can go in the pool are things that I give you, which are going to be fish and your hands, but not anything else. Because if they take your camera. That one won't break, but I can't get it back for you. <laughs> then it's mine. It actually belongs to the dog. <laughs> um, it's, no, it's theirs. We will give you a chance to touch. When you touch, please stay away from their face. So don't touch their eyes, their blowhole, or their mouth. This is for two reasons. One, we don't want any biting, but also because we don't want to introduce anything to their blowhole. This is the beginning of the respiratory tract. And because of COVID, we want to keep them safe as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, you might get a tiny bit wet. I won't try to get you wet. And then just <laughs> wait until got, I right? tell you it's time. It'll be very obvious when we're doing it, but I'll tell you when it's time to do the different things, okay? Okay. Awesome. So I have to wait now for my friend over here to call the dolphins over. Once he does, uh, they're gonna come over here. You're gonna stand on this side. I'm gonna stay on this side. That way we'll maintain Hi. our six feet of difference. And you guys can Aww. stay right here and not reach over yet. They're so cute. So beautiful. Who didn't listen to their names? Okay. Yeah, that's a good question. So they don't know their names because they live in the water. And so it's very hard for them to understand human speech. Oh, Instead, when we um, ask them Signal. to do things, they come over. Once they see me, then they know who they are with. So right now, this dolphin is with us. So go ahead and put your hands out and wave like this. There she goes, there she goes. very much with me. OK, and don't look at that dolphin. We're, this is our dolphin right here. So pretend like we don't see that one. Take your fingers like this, bounce them up and down. She's singing for you. Aww. <laughs> All right, now that we have waved to a dolphin and we have talked to a dolphin, would you like to touch her? You're gonna put your hands flat on the surface like this. She's gonna come right underneath and you're gonna give her a little back rub. We call this a car wash. It goes underneath you. There you go. Aww. Very nice. That's so nice. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do the same thing. This time she's gonna give you her belly. Nice. Mm. Gonna rub her. There she goes. <laughs> come on down. There you go. Give her a nice belly rub. Aww. Aww. <laughs> All right, so when she did that, you might have noticed that her back is very dark. She's a Pacific yeah. bottlenose dolphin, so she has a darker color than some of the Atlantics that we have in here. And then her underside is very light. Show me your underside. So her backside is her dorsal side, her underside is her ventral side. This side here, if you were underwater looking up, would blend in with the sunshine, and that helps her to hide. Counter shading is common in animals that are found in the ocean, and also animals that fly in the air. So here at SeaWorld, you'll find um, Sharks and bat rays and sea turtles and fish and killer whales and penguins all have counter shading, but so do seagulls that fly up in the sky, right? So right now when you're touching her belly, see what's next to your left hand? That little dot in the center there? That's her belly button. Really? So it's because she's a placental mammal, she has a belly button just like we do. Uh -huh. And she had an umbilical cord attached to when she was young. And when she has babies, these two slits you see right here, one there and one there, those are her mammary glands. So that's uh -huh. how you can tell a male from a female. Otherwise, dolphins look a lot alike. The uh, males tend to have blockier heads. They can be a little bit larger, but it depends on the actual dolphin because they all look different. So that's a generalization that may not always work. When we have baby dolphins here, we don't know if they're boys and girls until really? we can see that. And sometimes it takes weeks for them to show it to us. You can always do a DNA test with um, a blood sample too. If I bring her back this way a little bit, hold on to that pectoral flipper there. It's coming towards you. So shake your hand right there. Shake your pectoral flipper. Yep, just like that, you're shaking hands with her. Oh. If you were to do an x-ray of that, you would see bones that look a lot like your hands and your forearm. Pretty cool, right? I'm gonna go ahead and bring your hand back. Oh. I'm gonna give her a fish if she's me. Oh. And then, let's look at her dorsal fish. That's a lot of fish. She eats about uh, 25 pounds a day. So, 25. Oh, hey. wants more. <laughs> so we're gonna look at that dorsal fin now. Remember how the uh, pectoral flipper had bones in it? It was pretty rigid, right? When you were shaking it, kind of like shaking a hand. Go ahead and grab this dorsal fin. When she comes by, you can hold on to it. When you hold on to her, give it a wiggle. It's gonna be wiggly. There's no bones in that. No so a dorsal bones. fin has no bones, whether you're a killer whale or a dolphin. Now, the difference between a, a fin and a flipper are that flippers have bones and that fins do not. So animals and seals who have flippers, penguins and sea turtles have flippers because there's bones in it, right? And then a shark has fins. Uh, no bones. Flippers on with other animals. That makes sense, right? Okay, you guys want to uh, do some behaviors with her? Ask her to do something? Yes. So the first thing you're going to do, I'm going to point her to you. She's going to look at you guys. And then when she's got her head up out of the water looking at you, you guys are going to spin in a circle. Ready? Go ahead and spin in a circle. Spin a circle. See if she gets back to you. She doesn't always see, so you have to keep going though. Look, I'm training, training humans. 
So Kolohe is one of our older dolphins. She's actually a, um, a veteran. She used to be part of the She saw me. Oh. 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 She got that. She sure got that. Uh, she used to be part of the Navy program. And uh -huh. I would tell you what she did in the Navy, but that's classified. I don't even know. But uh, because really? of her older age, she doesn't see as well in the bright light. This she has a little bit of uh -huh. cataracts. It's a little harder for her to see. How old is she? Uh, she's in her 30s, I believe. 30s? 30s? Wow. Uh, can we trade out a dolphin? Sure. <laughs> Here comes Kolohe. Oh, they're so small. So there goes Kolohe, and we're going to get... I know. I can't believe Beaker. Okay, Beaker. Hey. Beaker was born right here at Sea World. She's Aww. really smart. Okay, so what we're going to do, she's going to look at you. And then you guys are going to take oh. your hand like this in front of you and make a giant check mark in the sky. One, two, three, check mark. There she goes. Fish Woo. Fish. <laughs> Woo. You didn't expect that, did you? Yeah, we did. Right. Oh. So, uh, go ahead and grab some fish out of that bucket and you can toss them to her. <laughs> <laughs> you got some more fish for her? Yes, sir. Well deserved. How okay. long? Now, How long can they leave? I'm How gonna many show years? you. They can live about uh, 20 or 30 years in nature, 40, 50, 60 years. Here. Oh, so I'm gonna have you guys dance with it. Okay. So it looks like it's gonna demonstrate, and you're gonna do. It. So first thing that's gonna happen is you put your hands out like this. She's gonna come up. You don't have to hold on very tight. You just very gently touch your pectoral flippers, and you're dancing. Aww. Okay. So, so you're gonna put cute. your hands out like that. Do it. Do it. Do it. She's gonna come to you. She's gonna go underwater first, so she can get a nice run. She's gonna come up, and you're gonna dance with her. Aww. <laughs> Beautiful. She's dancing. Are you ready to go? <laughs> you can let go. I know you want to let go. So much fun! Good girl! <laughs> She's really loud. Okay, now I'm going to have you give her a high five. I'm going to show you All what right. it looks like. It's going to be kind of like a karate chop. When she's looking at you, you go chop! Then she comes up, takes her a second, and you go chop! Just like that, alright? So she's going to look at you. Go ahead, and when she's looking at you, here she comes. Go ahead and put your hand up. Chop! Here she goes. Top, yes. oh. <laughs> that little sound she made, because she liked it. She was like, oh, dear, that was fun! She liked Super it. fun! All right, I'm going to show you something about her. Uh, here at SeaWorld, we obviously take incredibly good care of our dolphins. One of the things that we do is that we can take a blood sample from our dolphins to uh, to and analyze and make sure they're healthy. We can also do that to watch uh, hormones, like say they're pregnant, and check out how uh -huh. they're doing. So, we do that when we hold their flukes like this. Mm -hmm. A veterinarian comes and there's a line right here. Can you guys see that in the, in the yeah. light? Yeah. That is a vein. And a veterinarian comes in and they can pull a blood right there. They're all trained to do this. They participate in their own health care. We can also get uh, voluntary urine samples and respiratory samples from their um, blowhole. And those are all ways that we can um, assess their health and take really good care of them. Obviously, we watch their behavior every day. We check their eyes and their membranes and their body and we check their uh, appetite and their behavior. All of that allows us to uh, take very good care of the animals. Wow. I see how I'm doing this. I have my hands just cradling mm -hmm. underneath. Following her. You're actually going to do this. The way that you do it is you're going to put your hand out like this, and when she touches it, you're going to very gently under her chin. And then as it comes up, you have to grab. Look, see how fast she went? You got to grab pretty grab her. So for you, here, yeah, you ready for the challenge? Yes. Okay. <laughs> She's going to come over to you, put your hand straight up, and she's going to put her hand, or put her rostrum. Yeah, flick her underneath. Yep. Flick. And then try to grab those flukes. Just grab them real hard. You got them. Now, if you can put your hands underneath, like this, move them underneath. Now, you're the trainer. If I were the veterinarian, I could come grab a blood sample. That's perfect. Beautiful. Now, give, that's gorgeous. That's perfect. Now, take your hands away and give her two taps right on her tail. Yep. And then look at that. You can give her a fish for that because you were the trainer. She did a great job. And that's how we tell her that she did a great job. I talked to her saying yes. She's training you. One more? You, you can give her more if you want. Okay, so now we're going to send her what's called a bow. She's still looking at you, so you're going to take your right hand down by your pocket and throw it up over your shoulder, okay? So have, she's going to be looking at you. Bows, go one, two, three, point to the sky. There she goes. Big jumps. Whoa! Woo! Woo! She's so happy. She's so happy. Oh so Beaker's a lot of fun because she seems to have a lot more energy, right? Yeah. She's kind of a um, show off. Whereas <laughs> really? Kolohe, who we had here earlier, we had a lot of tackle. <laughs> she just loves to chill and hang Aww. out. That's her favorite thing to do. Okay, let's do a couple more things before we have to go. Mm -hmm. Let's. Uh, Say hi, hola. Hi. Let me help you go back. Take your left hand like this and wave. She's gonna wave as she goes around in a circle. Aww. 
Oh, he's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's so smart. We're gonna do a little back rub. So here she comes. Go ahead and reach out and give her a nice back rub. You can definitely feel that. It's a very sensitive skin. How really? does she feel like to you? Oh, it's interesting. Rubber. Right? And then if I flip her over here, she also has that belly Latin. Oh, and then I'm, gonna, I'm gonna bring her a little closer. Come on over, Beaker. And then once she's in close, give her a tickle in between her cacao peppers. Like a pretty good tickle. Tickle, tickle. Oh, you found a spot. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did it. Oh, you did it. <laughs> ah, yes. She's such a funny girl. Okay, guys. She's so awesome. Unfortunately, it's just about time to say goodbye. So we're going to ask her to use her flukes to wave to us. Take your right hand, put it up here on your mouth like this. And then we're going to give her a big kiss. Ready? One, two, three. Mwah. Hopefully she doesn't splash us because she knows how to do that too. No, just a very, very Aww. nice Aww. goodbye. Aww. What was her name? This one's name is Beaker. Beaker. And the other dolphin that we met was Kolohe. Kolohe. So here are two more fish for you to give to Beaker. How do you choose their names? It's, it's, it's <laughs> we've got dolphins uh, that are, you know, 30 years, 35, 40 years old who were born here at SeaWorld. So we've had lots and lots of different names. Go ahead and eat that fish. fish. Huh? Sometimes fish? their names follow the like the, the family. You, they, so you can, can I grab a fish? You go ahead, please. Yeah. yeah. So sometimes they're named things that make sense. Like for instance, Toby is a rescue dolphin who lives here. She was rescued off of Sarasota Beach in Florida. Her baby's name is Sarasota.